So I wanted to talk today about the suburban prison and why the suburbs are a place of loathing, a place of um, almost the death of potential. So I grew up living in the suburbs and I still live in the suburbs. I work in the suburbs. And I have a friend that every time he comes back to the suburbs, he always mentions how he feels like he escaped it. How for him it felt like the suburbs were a prison. So I want to talk a little bit about that. The suburbs are an escape. An escape from the city a place of peace, but also it's entirely segregated. Everybody has their own house and sometimes you could feel the suburban vibe. It's empty, it's soulless almost, but it's the place that people go to in order to have kids and raise them in places that are a little bit more, um, more secluded, more peaceful, maybe perhaps more economically positive. And the suburbs have caused a decline in community. Or maybe the communities are so small and so segregated, we're not connected to one another. This particular friend of mine, he believes, or he says, that coming back to the suburbs, it's almost like filler episodes filler episodes of a popular anime. It's a place that you go to to pass the time or a place you go to once you reach your 40s in order to have kids. And he always says that he's glad that he escaped. I live in a pretty big city and I live in the, on the outskirts of that city. So now he lives in the city and he lives his best life. Goes to shows, goes out all the time, lives that city life. And to live in the suburbs, sometimes I can relate with that, with that feeling of being imprisoned in a place where you can't really escape. There is a lack of opportunity, a lack of potential. It's simply just a place where you live and have kids and you kind of rot away on the outskirts of the world while the rest of the world is happening in the city. And that used to bother me. Um, it used to bother me, but I kind of come to came to the realization that, in a way, he's kind of right. Um, and especially in America, I know that um, the lack of public transportation in suburbs almost creates this kind of immense loneliness between people because there's no community. There's no a uh, place to go, a third place, as they call it, right? I think if you were to live in the city, you get that third place, whether it's like different communities or like a bar or friendships that kind of have the same kind of common goal. But in the suburbs, everybody lives kind of their own life, separate from each other. There's no community, really. And that's why I think we feel a lot more lonesome, too, because of these suburban areas where we can't congregate with people of our similar interests due to the fact that we live on the outskirts. And I'm not saying this to say that, like, oh, I could move into the city. I could. But it just doesn't make sense for me at the moment. You know, and it's not anybody's fault, really, because I could just move anytime I want. But, but I still have that resentment a little bit about the suburbs, where it's kind of this place where it almost seems like an outside, the outside of the real world. Like, and when my friend described it as filler episodes, it really kind of, I don't know, it made me feel sad made me feel sad and that's the thing is that the city life isn't for everybody the city life isn't for introverts who would prefer to mind their own business and stay alone but i think that the city life if things were a lot more accessible if public transit was a lot better in the states here it's not so bad but in the states generally if we had more public transit if we had more 
uh, common places where we can congregate. I think that solitude that's caused by living in the suburbs wouldn't be as prevalent. And so that's why sometimes the suburbs feel like a prison. It's beautiful, peaceful, serene. But then you're stuck. There's no potential. There's no growth. There's no anything. It's almost like a place where you just go and you rot away. You have children and that's it. You live in your home for the rest of your life. And it makes sense, you know. It makes sense. But now, because of how the economic world is, a lot of us suburban kids, kids of suburban parents, have a hard time moving out of our homes and living in other different places because, well, everything is so vastly expensive or life just doesn't make sense for it to be that way. And any time I think of moving out, if I were to move out, once I'm ready to move out, I would love to live in the city. I would love to just be surrounded by people, to be in the know, to, to just walk around and explore and, and just be part of everything. Because sometimes, yeah, the suburbs do feel like a prison. It feels like you're kind of stacked away and for forgotten about. I would go to school and people who lived in the same area as downtown, they would all congregate together and hang out. And because I lived so far away, I would just kind of get left out because I wouldn't be kind of in the know with them. And so there's some pros and cons, right? The solitude is nice. The peace is nice. The greenery is nice. The nature is nice. But there's some things that you lose. Some things that are still vastly important. Some things that aren't totally accessible to most people nowadays. And so this is what I call the suburban prison, where life is good, life is beautiful, life is, you know, serene. I'm sitting here on this chair and I'm grateful, you know, I'm grateful to have grown up in the suburbs. I wouldn't look at it, I would never look at it with resentment or anything because I wouldn't be who I am if I didn't. And so my friend looks at it with a lot of resentment and I try not to because I wouldn't be who I am if I wasn't here, if I wasn't living here. And I'm grateful, immensely grateful for the way that I grew up and the places that I, and the place that I lived and my home, my beautiful home that I, I, it's, I'm so grateful, you know. But I just wanted to recognize that this particular topic has been weighing down heavily on me, the suburban prison. And for my friend, and this, and this particular conversation that I had with my friend begs the question of how convenient or how much your values coincide with being that living in the suburbs. And so I think I've said suburbs in this video like a bajillion million times, but it's true. Like, and in a way, if you're looking for something different, if you're looking to make it in the art world, if you're looking to uh, be a part of something greater than yourself, if you're looking for those third places, then yeah, living in a city makes the most amount of sense, right? It makes the most amount of sense. And as a young person, as a younger person, I think that makes sense as well, because you get to live life. And then you don't kind of go crazy later in life because you haven't experienced all of it. But now, because we're living in the age that we're living, it makes it difficult to move out on your own, to afford a place to live, to afford to buy a house later in life. If you're paying like thousands and thousands of dollars on rent just for the sake of living, you have to kind of weigh the options. It's like, should you live a crazy lifestyle where you just throw away all of your money? Or do you just live that secluded life and you save up the most amount of money and to make sure that your future is settled? And that you don't have to worry about money. And I think it begs the question of what your values are. Right? And so I have this really complicated relationship with the suburbs. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's, it's peaceful. But there's such a lack of opportunity. Such a lack of community. It's lonesome. 
a lot of the time too. You feel alone. You feel like separated from everybody, from everything. You feel kind of like you're watching the world happen and you're just on the outside. And sometimes it gets to me. Sometimes it makes me upset. And, you know, you might be thinking, well, you could just move out. It's a lot more complicated than that. And I know and I recognize that in the States, this is generally a pretty prominent problem. Because especially with the reliance on, on cars rather than public transit, everybody feels more, more so more so secluded. The only places you can actually meet people is at school and maybe at work. And that's pretty much it. We don't have any places where we can socialize outside of that, you know. And as I grow older, the more I feel the need to be part of something, be part of something bigger than myself. And that's why, like, even if I live in the suburbs, like, I, I'm part of, like, the community and I try to work within the community because at least, at least for now, now that I live here, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. But now that I live here, I still want to be part of something greater than myself. And for the person or my friend that believes that this world is a filler for him, for me, this isn't a filler. This is my anime story. And sometimes it feels depressing that people see it that way. And so I think it's good to be grateful. I think it's good to be mindful and to be aware of the pros and cons. And all you can do is try your best with what you're given. And I'm grateful for what I'm given. And I will continue to be grateful for what I'm given. Even if I'm sitting here and I'm talking about the cons of, of living in the suburbs, I'm still grateful. I'm still thankful. Uh, because I wouldn't be who I am if I wasn't here. And whatever happens in the future happens in the future, how it's meant to. Not because I feel the pressure to escape or feel the pressure to leave or feel the pressure of being imprisoned. Anyway, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching. And have a great day. Bye.